The January transfer window is now officially open. And at the end of last episode, Sanson has joined Sevilla for 9.6 million. We now have 11.4 million in the transfer budget, but we still have Danny Ings to get rid of. That could be 20 million, 25, maybe even 30. And of course, as always, you guys have left loads of suggestions in the comments on last video. We'll be getting to all of them in the press conference. We're still top of the league, but this time only by four points, not the seven we were top leading by last episode. At some point, it was 10, but it is down to four now, and we've got some big competition, United Spurs City. And also coming up in today's episode, we have the first leg, second leg of the semi-final of the Cabo Cup versus Arsenal. We've got a massive episode ahead of us, lots of business to get through. Let's aim for 450 likes, subscribe if you're new, turn the bell on, and let's get into it. Last episode's play of the episode goes to Eden Hazard. He's really finding his form now, he scored a hat-trick last episode, and he is currently our top goal scorer. The first point we're going to look at comes from Callum, and he's saying instead of going in for Ward Prowse, which we are looking at, we should bring in Guerrero. So he says his name from Brescia Dortmund. He's currently at Lazio and he's a left back, and in the comment he did say convert him to a centre mid. He's 28, he's 83 rated, he's valued at 28 million, so we could possibly do that deal. We also have this dude, he's suggesting we go in for Inaki Williams from Bilbao. Can be the main man up top when Suarez drops off in his overall. He's 27 and he's at Manchester City. I didn't think he'd be leaving Bilbao. But he's gone to Man City. I'm pretty sure he's only like 81 rated and he doesn't have great potential, if any. But we have Kalon, who is saying going for Isaac in January as a future replacement to Suarez. The last time I played with this guy was in FIFA 20 in our Real Sociedad career mode. He's 22, he's 83 rated, valued at 44 million. So we definitely don't have the funds even if we're to swap Danny Ings with him in this window. I was thinking perhaps we sign a striker in today's episode who could be a good backup and then in the summer just overtakes next season, Suarez. But we really don't know what rating he will be next season. He might still be 85 or 84. He is a CDM, but a player who is linked with Villa IRL is obviously Basuma from Brighton. We did sign him in our Man United career mode, but we only used him for like one season. So I'll put him on the short list. Could be a player we're going for. Another midfielder we could possibly go in for is Renato Sanchez from Lille. We've used this guy a bunch of times. Last time we used him was in the Leicester career mode, I'm pretty sure. 81 overall, 33 and a half million pound valuation. Again, it could be a player we're going for. Would be great, but I don't really want to replace John McGinn in this season. It is tempting to convert Buende to that centre midfielder role. If we play him there now, he gets a plus two, and he is demanding more game time at the moment. But if we were to do that, we wouldn't have any real backup wingers. We still have players like Ashley Young, by the way, and Chambers, which we haven't even mentioned. Traore could play. He's now up to a three-star week, but he could play on the left or right. If it was on the left, he'd be good at crossing. But back to some press conference questions. We have Chris, who is suggesting we convert Digne and Cash to wingbacks. We actually haven't done this yet. I'd normally do it, but at the start of the career mode, I thought maybe this season would be more challenging than it actually is. So therefore, I thought we'd probably have to play a little bit more defensively, but we will convert them. It will take two weeks on the both of them. In fact, I I'm pretty sure we already had them playing as wingbacks. We just didn't convert their position. So that's a good shout. And we have a question here from The Wolf, who is asking, do you think Hazard has been good this season? And that's a good question. He's played 21. He's got nine goals, four assists. Now, if you asked me this question at the start of last episode, I'd have said, uh, I'm not too sure. I, I feel this might be a little bit of a flop signing. Is he going to reach the 12 goals? But now we know he's definitely going to reach the 12 goals. He's three away. He'd probably be at that before the end of the season. He just can't get 20. If he gets 19 or 21, that's fine. But bang on 20, he has to be sold in the forfeit to a big club. As well, if he gets lower than 12, we do another forfeit. You guys know about that. But I feel he's probably been our best player this season. Stats-wise, I don't get as much out of him as I would like to in-game. I mean, we did have a comment which said, change him to come short instead of get him behind. We could possibly do cut inside, come short, or just anything. Just balance, do your own thing but coming short maybe cut inside but we'll just leave it at balance you know do your thing but definitely come short we'll give that a go and see if we get more out of him within game and we have Thomas Muller saying Henry Aston Villa top of the league fast season really unrealistic maybe sliders bumped up 
would help. So yeah, we're on ultimate, competitive mode, player base difficulty, the sliders will just up their sprint speed a little more, their pass error, shot error will lower, keeper ability to 60, marking 60, fast touch, put that down. I mean, you can adjust this as much. We could possibly go to ours and like lower a few, but I think that would make it really just unpleasant to play. Maybe just up their marking a little bit more. So we'll do that and see how today's episode goes. Uh, today's episode objective comes from King, who is saying episode objective, get five gold contributions with Coutinho because he was really good last episode. Forfeit, he can't play for two games. So it's similar to the one we had last episode, which we completed. Obviously, at the end of today's episode, let me know in the comments who your player of the episode is, your episode objectives. And if you have any questions you want me to go over in the press conference, then just leave them down below. Now, we did have someone say going for Calvert-Lewin. He's gone from Everton to Chelsea. He could have been a good replacement for Suarez next season, but is it Chelsea? Annoyingly. So just keep the suggestions coming in for strikers. We did actually look at signing this guy in the Spurs career mode. He starts off at like 78, 79 rated, 88 potential. We haven't played with this guy yet. Is Portuguese Vitinha, however you say his name. If I'm saying it wrong, let me know in the comments. But we'll get his scout report in 18 days. We may just have to go in and offer maybe Danny Ings and a bit of cash. But to be fair, we could convert Buende to that center midfield role and play Hudson Adoy or buy Hudson Adoy as a backup striker. 31 and a half to 42.1 million. We could definitely do that. But we want to sign a player who actually is better than McGinn and has better potential because he only has 80 potential. And is that 81 rated? So therefore, I don't want to go in for Ward Prowse. I know we've hyped him up till this point. And then once again, we're not going to sign him. Guys, I promise, one career mode, we will sign this guy. But I feel we should put an offer in for this Portuguese midfielder. It says here on so FIFA is valued at about 30 million euros in the first season. Danny Ings is worth 18. So if we do that, Plus, oh, how much can we offer? 10 million? That's our whole budget. What are they going to say? They say no. That You're actually having a laugh. See, the problem here is it doesn't matter how far we simulate forward. We have Brentford now, so we can't. We're just not getting offers coming in for Danny Ings. Nobody wants him. So what if we actually play him this game? Suarez doesn't have a season objective. So we, we'll rotate him. Coutinho does. And I don't want to be rotating him. But we'll play Buendir there. We'll play Traore out there. Oh, we've got to rotate, to be fair, Maybe will play. We'll start Hazard. He needs to complete his objective. But we're away. Brentford, come on, Villa. First game in today's episode. It's a 4 0 win. Hazard with a brace. Ings with a goal. And again, get it. Still no offers. And we've got the next game right now. I do want to just check how long would it take to move him to a center midfielder? It would take six weeks. This guy is more of a backup cap, but would be interesting as that midfielder, center midfielder, would be good going forward. Looking at his stats. I reckon he could do it. I reckon he could. And if we were to do that deal, we'd of course go in for the one and only Hudson Odoi. He's English. We need another English player. He's from Chelsea. He can play on the left. He can play on the right. 30 to 40 million. I feel that's a good deal for his valuation. Look, if they accept this deal, we do it. Okay? We do it. 9 million. Danny Ings. What are you saying, Chelsea? They want target. Okay. They want target plus 18 million. Okay, there's your problem. Okay, target plus 10 million. What are you saying to that? They want 18. Yeah, we can't get that deal done, I'm afraid. We're not actually going to play this first leg against Arsenal. You guys know how we do it in the semi-final of the Cabo Cup. We sim the first leg, and if we have business to finish in the second, which we normally do, we don't, we don't win the first 4-0, we'll obviously play it. When Deer can start and Mings can start, can he? He's tired. I'm sorry, but Chambers is going to play against his former club. I Yeah, I feel like he's, he's asking to do that. We'll play Douglas Luiz because it's a cup game, but come on, we're away. It's Arsenal. They're having a terrible season. It's a 2-1 win. Spanos and Bailey. I mean, look at that. That's how good we are. We're rotating and we still win. Final scout report for Basuma. He's 82 rated. Guys, this could be an interesting signing, to be fair. The problem is, it's a CDM. He's not a centre midfielder. And we want that John McGinn player who can actually go forward like a Buendir. Maybe we go in for Ward Pratt. I don't know. Maybe he goes up in rating. Lazio don't want to sell him. And Lil don't want to sell Sanchez because they're too important. 
important. Chamberlain's old and he's 78 rated. It's an awkward situation right now. It's so irritating. We'll have to get back to the business after this game. We've got Everton in the FA Cup. We really, really want to stay in this competition, to be fair. Do we start Ings again? I, I say we start Ings, put him in the shop window, try and go as strong as we can in this game. It is a cup game, but as I said, Dan Ings is starting. We're at home. It is Everton. Can we please stay in this competition? It's a 3-1 win. Come on. Yes, you guys know how nervous I get simming FA Cup games. It's almost like the game doesn't want you to win, but we're Villa this time. We're not a Spurs or United. We've got Man United now, and we're playing this game. It's the first game we're playing in today's episode, so we're going to have to do the business. Make that first signing after this game. Still no offers for Danny Ings leading up to this fixture. It's so frustrating. I have took him off the list and put him back on. We've also put Ashley Young on there. We've got this Cam, who I'm pretty sure he's got some insane potential. We've also put him on the loan list. But first versus second, I mean, a plus seven for cash. Look at that. A plus six for Coutinho. This team is honestly incredible. Top four, definitely. Oh, well done, Kamara. That's great. We do need to adjust the numbers, to be fair. He's still number four. Got Matty Cash on the right-hand side. Here he is. Got options in the box. Gonna cross it in. Could This could be a good start. Okay, they're playing long ball. And to be fair, that's a good ball to Sancho. Here come United. Come on, come on, get in. Not gonna slide. Now I am. Conta. Oh, it's a penalty to United. You're kidding me. Konza is in the butt. Cristiano Ronaldo to step up. Can we keep this clean sheet? We're about to find out here. We're about to find out. We're normally good at saving them. We're going like this. And then going to start in the middle. You're kidding me. That's embarrassing, that is. That's embarrassing. I was convinced we were going to save it. Is he going left? Is he going right? Straight down the middle. That's just embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough of ball over the top to Sancho. This time, Conta, don't be don't be making the same mistake. Don't get sent off. That's what I'm saying. Sancho. Ah, oh, Camaro, well done. Beautiful. Oh, that's good, that is. Philip Coutinho, a little flick over the top. You love to see it. Here's Philip Coutinho. This is good. On his right, just going to smash it from this angle. Straight at De Gea. Oh, no. Cristiano Ronaldo's just gone straight around us. Martinez saves us there. Here's Matty Cash coming forward. Sancho trying to get a tackle in. Still Matty Cash. I'm just going to hit it. Matty Cash. Oh, what a goal. Matty Cash. There's absolute no way he's just scored that. That is insane. I, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. That is incredible. He's hit that so well. Posting in. That is world class. Beautiful strike from Matty Cash, the right back. Plus seven, plus 17 now. Oh, that's wonderful. Here's McGinn coming forward. There's Suarez. Now we're back in it. It's level. Suarez. Now begin. He's got that left foot. He's going to hit one. That's a good save. David Ayer. This is a great first versus second. Every time Sancho gets the ball, though, we're at risk. Can Matty Cash do better than Cons? That's the question. Well, so far, no. Is for Why are they all do the same skill? Competitor mode is just ass. I'm telling you that. In the box, Sancho. What a game he's having. Cristiano Ronaldo. Conza with the tackle that time. That is big. Ronaldo. Conza. Oh, can't get the better of Ronaldo there. Here is Cristiano Ronaldo in the box. Conza, nice positioning. Conza, a pass there to Kamara. Now I've got Belly out wide. Cash, what a goal he scored. Here he is on the right. Just going to cross it in. We've got Suarez in the box. Slabad with the clearance. Oh, again, over to Sancho. Look how exposed we are here. Got Ronaldo in the box. Come on, mark him up. Mark him up. Here's Sancho. Ball roll. Nope. Sancho, what a save, Martinez. Can he get the rebound? Yes, he can. Got seven minutes to play. Here's McGinn on that left. Going to hit one. Good save, David. We've got five minutes left. Oh, Conta, well done. The defense there was great. Can we win this? Suarez. Now, Philip Coutinho. This is big. Hazard out wide. Hazard onto that right. There's a gap. Going to hit one. Oh, what a save, De Gea. What a goal that would have been. Digne crosses the ball in. Conza, big header, comes at your box. I was hoping it would be McGinn on his left. McGinn gonna hit one. Straight out to Haya. There was no direction. It's a point. What a game that was. First versus second. Leeds United won alone. Ollie Watkins for two years. We'll reject that. We, we don't want to be doing that. But take a look at this. We have Lucas Dinier to a left wing back. We'll do that. Put him on an inverted wing back. And we also have Matty Cash. He should go up in rating. 83. Oh, that's insane. We'll put him on attacking. Does he need to get better attacking wise? What a goal he scored. A lowest rated play is McGinn. He's possibly one of our best players, but he's the lowest rated player right now. We're evident now and still no offers for the one and only Danny Ings. We're going to have to just offer for Ward Prowse. I mean, we mentioned signing him so many times. Do you want the one and only Danny Ings back? 
Come on, just take him back. Plus 8 million. Come on, just take him. Accept it. They want Buendia. Of course they do. They don't even want Danny Ings. We're going to have to just end that. I just don't get it. He's on the transfer list. Honestly, he is on the transfer list. Why? No offers. We have to do business this window, and I don't know what else we can actually do. We've got three players here. We've got Elmas, Gavi, and Fernandez. They all have really, really good potential. I'm just going to try and offer Danny Ings to these different clubs and see if they're actually going to accept anything. Danny Ings plus 9 million. What are they going to say? They want Douglas Luiz. So that's a no. I mean, there's just no one else we can offer. I don't want to be getting rid of Douglas Luiz. He's a good player. Now, if it's anyone to accept Danny Ings, I feel it's by Barcelona. That's just the type of crap they do. Nine million. Danny Ings. They want Douglas Luiz. Why does everyone want him? Fine. Fernandez. Leeds United. Danny Ings. Nine million. They want Danny Ings, but 24.9 million. You're actually having a laugh. That's why they don't want him, because no one rates him. I'll offer you 12. I mean, we can barely, like, they go down to 17. Look, listen. 12 with a Salon clause of 25. Come on. What are you saying, Leeds United? They say yes. You're kidding me. We can actually get Get rid of Danny Ings. But the thing is, can we afford Enzo Fernandez's wage and signing on bonus demands? Lock him down on a four-year deal. Release clause, absolutely not. Can we do it? We can! Get it! We've signed a player! You've probably never heard of this guy, but he starts off at 77 overall, and he has 86 potential. And overall, his stats are just very balanced. He's got a four-star weak foot right now. We've made it an exciting signing right there, uh, but we've lost Danny Ings. I don't really see us playing Ramsey, so I'm going to loan him out and see if we get any offers. We have Everton now away in the Premier League. Full strength side. We're not going to start Fernandes. We're going to start him in our next game we play. But away from home, come on, Villa. It's a 2-0 win, and it's another clean shot. Sheik, Coutinho, and Dinier. Vamos! Fernandez does come on with 15 minutes left of that game to make his debut. That's unfortunate. He did win his first game, though. Uh, th that's a positive. We have Blackpool in the FA Cup now. We are going to rotate. Not a ton, though. We're only going to rotate like that. We haven't rotated this much in a while. Come on, it's Blackpool. It's the FA Cup. Come on, EA. Don't do me over here. It's a clean sheet and a 2-0 win. John McGinn and Watkins. Vamos! Martinez is now up to 14 clean sheets, by the way. He's 3 way to his seasonal objective. I thought he was only at like 12, but no, he's actually doing really, really well. Oh no, Bayern Munich come in for Konza. That is not good news. If we were not in the top four right now, we'd possibly have to accept that deal. But why would he leave Villa when he could potentially win the league? So we are going to reject that. Our next game is the second leg against Arsenal in the semi-final of the Cabo Cup. We will play this game and we will start our new signing. Oh, he's tired. We'll start him anyway. Enzo Fernandez. We'll get Buendia starting because Bailey doesn't have any objectives and we do need to play with him more. So he'll be on the right-hand side. Again, it's a cup game. So Douglas Luiz, why not? Just rotate slightly. Do you know what? He didn't ever see subjectives. So we'll play Ollie Watkins instead of Suarez. Come on, let's find ourselves in that final. Ladies and gentlemen, it's match day. Our wing backs, I'd say, are probably the strongest part about this team. They're honestly incredible. Going forward defensively, they're just the key points here. Another opportunity to just hit one. Oh, is it the bar? Are you kidding me? That would have been class after just bigging them up. That's a big tackle. Well done. Oh, that's a massive tackle, that is, by Dinier. That's big. Come on, Hazard. Don't come short. Get in behind. He is told to come short. Onto that right foot. Eden Hazard. This is good. Can he finally get a shot? Every shot we've taken with him has just got blocked. It's just terrible timing from us. Now Fernandez onto that right. Just going to wind one up for right. Oh, it's hit the post. What a goal that would have been right there. Oh, that's a great inception. Eden Hazard, come on. Can he please do something? Come forward. Eden Hazard, please score a goal with us. Here he is. Hazard. Bang, one now. We finally score with him. I don't know if we ever have, but it's Eden Hazard who makes it one. 3 1 and accurate. Surely we're in the final now. What a trophy this would be to win. Bit of silverware. I'm pretty sure Villa haven't won a, a trophy since 1994. They won the trophy to get promoted, but apart from that, it's been that long. This would be massive, guys. Okay, we have. Have more of a cushion now, so we could concede here, but we want the clean sheet, of course. Odegaard spinning his mat. It's Smith Rachi. Get a foot in. That's big. Carlos, well done. Hazard through the gap. Now here's Fernandez. 
A pass there to Ollie Watkins. Here he is. Can he get the second? Ollie Watkins. Oh, what a save by Zach Leno. It is. Fernandez is tired. We'll bring on again. I mean, he had that shot, which would have been just insane if he went in. Uh, but yeah, he's did all right. Some good passing. Oh, no. We're just letting them go straight through us there. Oh, come on. Martinez. Get in. Come on. Here's Odegaard on the ball. Get a foot in. Carlos, well done. Okay, we've got a couple of minutes left. Can we get that goal, though? An extra one. Ball over the top to a free head and Hazard. How's your touch? That's great. That's good stuff by Hazard. That's good. Gonna just hit one. Good save by Leno. Just smashed the ball in, Dinier. Can we score a corner for once? Nope. Oh, what a save by Leno. What a save that was. To McGinn, can you win that header? No, he can't. There's the game. There's the clean sheet. We're in the final of the Carbo Cup. We're playing Manchester City, I'm pretty sure. They've got Walford, and we're definitely playing City. Yeah, and that is correct. They are abs They absolutely smashed Watford. Uh, so, yeah, we've still got a lot of work to do to win this competition. We've got a lot of offers coming in for Douglas Lewis. And again, we just don't want to be getting rid of him. He's probably because he's not playing that much. We have deadline day now, and it feels like we had a massive January. So much business, and that is all what happened. We spent 12.6 and a half million. Fernandez coming in. Danny Ings going out. Really not that much. He does go to Leeds, I'm pretty sure. Danny Ings. So he stays in the Premier League. But we signed a good player with great potential. Real, A short-term loan. Perfect. Perfect. 77 rated. That is wonderful. If they're willing to play him, they may even still be in Europe. They might be in the Europa League. Can he please? go through one hour left no he doesn't great okay we'll be keeping ramsey then he's 77 rated now he should be playing more we have leeds united right now in the premier league we're at home i'm actually gonna start fernandez he's up to 79 rated now he's got 86 potential so he'll grow in rating pretty quick it's a draw it's a 2-2 two -two. danny ings you're having a laugh danny ings he's got a brace against us you're kidding me you're pretty having a laugh danny ings in the 34th minute danny ings with the equalizer in the 87th. That couldn't have got any worse right there. What was the match rating for Fernandez? A 5.9. There we go. That That is terrible. That is so bad. We've got Newcastle now. They're 13th. And after that horrible performance from Fernandez, 5.9. We won't be starting him here. McGinn starts. Away from home. Come on, Villa. It is a 2 1 win in the last minute of the game. Suarez and Hazard. Vamos, get in. We have bottom of the league now, which we will sim. But straight after this game, we have the Carabao Cup final versus Manchester City. So we will sim this game against Nottingham at the start of next episode. I feel like we had a good January transfer. So we know we signed a really, really good Argentinian superstar in midfield. Don't forget, put your player of the episode in the comments and your episode objective for next season. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, subscribe. In the top left of the screen should be a video that YouTube recommends you watch.